Superb, and thanks for coming again to see how to create a batch file and how we will use it. Yeah, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKID Support. Okay, guys, let's see how we can do it, right? So I have drafted the what you can say, um, the steps, right? What, how we can do it? So basically, we need to really open the Notepad, right? And then we will follow the steps, right? Okay. I will go to start, select those tabs, or what I can do is, I can go to the search option and type note tabs, and I will open it, okay, so we need to open a note tab, right, after that, put a windows command, windows command, uh, anything else will okay, okay, start, see. so what we will do is, we will try to open a, Calculator. So, what we need to do is we need to use save as any of the location where you want to save it. Okay, and we will put a name as open app. Okay. Dot, as you see, we need to save as. BAT extension and also we need to select the type as all files and we are saving into desktop encoding that it be ANSI save right ok what I will do is I will close it <coughs> now you can see the batch file is created right so what I will do is I will I can double click on it or I can click open. So when I open it will execute the command and it's opening the calculator. Okay. Let's see um, I want to open um, Windows run and execute something. Oops, it's blocked I guess. Okay. Okay, let's see I want to open uh, and at ESP, okay. I'm not able to find it. Here, the remote desktop. I'm just going to open it. Okay. Oops. Again, this is a block, right? So in these cases, you can really help and use the batch file. So what I will do is I will edit this. Mm. I'll put another command here. Start and the CSC, right? And also. What I will do, I will write a command which is pause, right? So after executing these commands, the window will pause until unless I'm pressing any key. So what I will do is I will save. So these files and um, batch files are really uh, handy when you are stuck somewhere. They will really automate your stuff. Okay? Open app and again right clicking it, opening it, right? Okay. You can see. The remote desktop has really launched up and also calculator is also launched up and at the end we have written the pause so that's why it is really showing up what are the command we have executed in the batch file and under another than pressing any key it won't vanish so I'm just pressing it it's gone okay so thanks for watching this particular video I guess uh, you are not aware how to create the batch file and how to use it Thank you. Please also visit my website which is www.aikidsupport.com. Thank you. This is Radha Energy from AIGID Support.